Hello again. Um, I've made a start on the uh, six inch vertical boiler um, and progress so far has been, well, first of all, to square the, uh, the copper up. It was slightly out on squareness. It needed about two oh, ten thou taking off one side of the, the base to allow it to, to come square. Um, I didn't have a lathe big enough to uh, just uh, face the end off. Uh, I mean, I could have borrowed one, but um, I didn't want to risk uh, damaging the or, or altering the, the roundness of, of this, this tube by chucking it up. So, uh, uh, half an hour of uh, filing and, uh, and general buggeration, and it, it came nice and square. The next thing I've done is just marked out all the positions of the uh, boiler fittings um, the fire hole here um, the dry header take off um, the, the blower pipe out um, bush um, clack valve there Oops. another clack valve where the, the blower pipe will enter the, the boiler um, a wet header on this side another clack valve there these clack valves you know probably have one for the hand pump another one for either um, a mechanical pump steam pump or um, an injector or both even who knows um, on this side we have positions for the water gauge top and bottom and last but not least the position for the uh, steam turret um, so the next thing is just to measure all these again make sure I've measured it right this time uh, before we start putting some holes in the thing so uh, there we go Right, I'm now in a position to centre punch the, the hole centres in the boiler barrel. What I've done is I've found this lump of 80mm steel bar and I'm going to use that as a as a backer of the on on you know just sliding the tube on there so when we centre punch we're not distorting the tube as uh, all the stresses will be taken up by this being behind the tube. So we'll just now go and uh, centre pop each of our locations. So we can start drilling. Right, just making a start on the uh, on the first hole. This being the uh, the fire hole. Um, I've set the um, tube in these blocks just to hold it securely, um, and also set it with a square so that um, this axis is at the very top. Um, so we're drilling straight. Uh, at 90 degrees to the to the, uh, the cylinder so with this drill I'm just going to start the hole off and then uh, I'm going to change to a, a step drill and try that because uh, um, you know your normal twist drills are just going to pull straight through the copper and you know screw themselves into the thing um, so here we go
These are the step drills that I bought um, to uh, cut these holes. I've never used one before, so it should be quite interesting. Um, this this is going to be the, by far the biggest hole, the fire hole, though, so it's probably a good one to practice on. Um, so, I don't know, let's try this one. Checking we lined up. Yep. Right, let's give it a go. through now just try a, a bit of lube Helps on its journey. Slow it down a shade as well. This is the first attempt um, 
at drilling a hole with a step drill. Um, although this is going to be much bigger because it's the, the fire hole door, um, I thought I'd take it to 11 sixteenths, um, which is the size of most of the uh, the bushes that's going to be on the boiler. And because the steps on the drill aren't quite thick enough or deep enough to go through the full thickness wall thickness of the tube, it leaves a little bit of a lip on the inside. Um, now I try to clear that, and in doing so, I've created a bit of a, a chamfer on the outside, which is no great hardship as um, that will all fill in with the silver solder when we put the bushes in there. I mean, it's probably no bad thing. Um, but the inner um, lip there, I'm just going to have to remove that with a file. Um, but all in all, I'm quite pleased with how that's turned out. There's no distortion to the uh, wall of the um, tube. Um, what it has done is left quite a burr on the inside, um, which will have to be uh, dealt with. Um, don't know how I'm going to do that, but uh, yeah, that's for, probably for another video. <laughs> Um, I've just attacked it with this here um, deburring tool and in, in one quick movement it removed the inner lip plus the burr on the inside in very short order. And as you can see, looks a lot better. So yeah, very happy with that. I'm going to cut two holes now. This one is 7 sixteenths for the uh, blower pipe and this for a, a clack valve at 11 sixteenths diameter. Um, the 7 sixteenths I've marked there and 11 sixteenths there so I know when I've reached the correct step. Um, I, uh, in, in producing these starter holes I changed to a a decent centre drill, it's better than using the twist drill which tended to wander. So, uh, right, so for now, for the smaller hole. What I've also found is that using a thick oil such as, I mean this is whey oil, um, helps the cutting process no end. First hole drill, I'll just take it a little bit further to create a chamfer.
I've uh, changed the belts um, on the drill uh, to give it a little bit more torque at low speed. Um, what I've also found out is you don't need to pre-drill it. Um, these step drills will find a you know, centre punch hole quite happily. So this, uh, this is one of the last holes to do now. It's a three quarter inch hole for the steam turret. So we'll see how this goes. Right, the uh, fire hole door, um, the largest step drill I had was um, uh, inch and three eighths. Unfortunately, this hole needs to be uh, inch and five eighths. Now, I haven't got anything bigger than this, so I've uh, lashed up this uh, setup with a boring bar on the mill, and uh, we'll just see how we go on. and slow. An interrupted cut as it starts uh, and finishes actually due to the curvature of the, the tube so you can see it flexing chatter as it gets towards the bottom of the cut. Nearly there. We're in tenth hour at a time.
not pretty, but effective. <laughs> right, this should be the last cut. There we go, that's where our uh, fire hole will uh, reside and be silver soldered in position. Um, there'll be a similar bore on the um, it, on the firebox which sits inside inside here. Yeah, I'm quite pleased with that. It'd be much easier with a hole saw or something but uh, when you haven't got one to hand then uh, this works for the sake of uh, half an hour's work. Job done.